Joining me next on the show, radio talk show host and author, author of a brand new book, Upside Down, How the Left Turned Right into Wrong, Truth into Lies, and Good into Bad, the great Mark Davis from 660 AM, The Answer in Dallas. Mark, welcome back. How are you? Chad, I am great. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Okay, first question here. How is this book not about 800 pages long? I know. It was one of the first exercises was restraint. <laughs> if my goal was to say, let's find all kinds of bizarre things that the left has been saying for you know the last 10, 20, 50 years, and then offer useful retorts, uh, it could have looked like the Manhattan phone book. So I honed <laughs> it down to 27 chapters, all very readable. Uh, they move at a brisk pace. You can take care of a couple of them during a bathroom trip or the whole shebang during a coast-to-coast flight. There you go. Well, it, it, uh, it, it's a book that, uh, from what I've read, just people who have commented on Twitter and uh, obviously the reviews, people are loving it. Uh, this is a book that I'm sure you could just take the past couple of years and, and, and really look at, you know, topic by topic and really get into, right? Oh, indeed. And, and, and it's not all just the Obama era, although that's a lot of my material, but it involves the ways that Democrats and Republicans and our entire society is, has just sort of slid off of the foundation of what used to be some commonly held beliefs, like borders matter, the police deserve to be supported, you know, fighting terror is a good idea. All of these things now are, are up for debate. And you mentioned the last couple of years, Chad, the, the last couple of days, yeah. I, I assume you've had a little bit of a Colin Kaepernick show this morning? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Well, and as did I. And, 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 and did, have you gotten any calls from people who said, hey, he's got a First Amendment right to do that? Well, no. Which I guess he does. He's not going to be put in jail. But people expect that you can do crap like this, excuse yeah. me, with no consequences. Yeah, and, 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 and that's exactly right. That I mean, this guy has a boss. You, your boss can, I mean, we know this. Uh, we have a First Amendment right to say whatever you want on the radio, uh, but there are some words that we'll get in trouble for. Well, exactly right. And, and, and it's funny because I had people say, yeah, Mark, uh, what about you? You know, you, you talk for a living. Exactly right. But but you, Chad Hasty, and I, Mark Davis, have shows where we can absolutely say what we feel. We have creative control. But if one day we wake up and decide, let's not even make it you and me, but let's say some host down the dial wakes up and decides that, you know, the blacks and the Jews and the Hispanics are the reason that America's all going to hell and we need to, you know, start shipping people out. You know, as soon as that becomes his free speech, that show will disappear. The notion that we have free speech with total impunity is crazy. So things like this arise all the time. So in Upside Down, I thought I'd knock them down one by one. Well, who is this book targeted at? What a golden question. Is it an echo chamber so that conservatives can you know, read things that they agree with? Or do I offer it up to liberals so that they can give a second thought to things that they believe? The answer is both. People who disagree with me on issues, I invite them to read upside down and see if there may be one or three or 12 things in there where they can say, wait a minute, you know, when I say that I know that humanity is causing the planet to get warmer, when I say I know that gender differences don't matter, when I say I, I know that that, that legalizing pot is a good idea, maybe I'm just mistaken about that. I would hope that would be the view of a reader that does not agree with me. For people who are conservative like I am, it is a handy toolbox so that if this comes up, you know, in the break room at work or, you know, during a football game or, you know, Thanksgiving, you can lovingly, civilly push back. What, how do we correct this how do we get this thing back on track because you, know, you hear in the the, the, the punditry that you know, uh, the right or the conservatives have lost the culture war that millennials young people don't care about any of the social issues anymore how do we how do we get this thing back on track we need to develop the courage to speak truth with love and those are and it's very biblical and it's intentionally so uh, the truth part and the love part are both very important. We have a lot of people who want to speak truth, but they do it in a kind of a sharp and scolding way that just drives people away. We also want to speak with love, but that often keeps us restrained from saying things that need to be said, like on transgender issues or immigration issues. So if we are able to have the courage to adhere to truth and yet do so civilly in an atmosphere of goodwill, uh, that'll be part of the path back. We're visiting with Mark Davis. Uh, he is uh, author and obviously talk show host, 660 AM, The Answer in Dallas, author of Upside Down, How the Left Turned Right into Wrong Truth and Lies, 
good into bad. I, I, I got to ask you, you've written a, a couple of books within the last few years. How do you find the time? Well, it, it, you, you spread it out a little bit, because you're right. It wasn't like I had one last year. In fact, I was so grateful uh, to have you on in 2014 when I put out Lone Star America, How Texas Can Save Our Country. Everything in there is still true, by the way. So if you want to make the Amazon double dip, <laughs> you are certainly welcome to do so. Mark Davis, Upside Down, and then Lone Star America. I've always done writing alongside every show I've done. I've, I, I was a columnist for the Fort Worth Star-Telegram from 96 to 04, Dallas Morning News ever since, picked up some townhall.com. Um, it's funny, Chad, because would pe- do people ever ask you, you know, when do you prep for your next show? And right. the answer is all the time. Yep. You never really stop. I mean, we're not chopping rocks or tarring roofs for a living, but every minute that we spend is spent in the pursuit of a possible topic or a possible something that we might use on the following day's show. So that means I'm always, you know, I mean, I'm paying attention to the family and doing the right thing, you know, as a complete human being, but I do a lot of covering the news and writing stuff and looking at stuff and taking notes. So to come Combine those things and fire off a chapter or two here or a column or two there. If, it's, if you spread it out and do your time management right, you'll be okay. Mark, before I let you go, if because you could probably come out with the, the follow-up book, uh, Two Upside Down, probably in the next year or so. If you had to look, crystal ball here, what do you think is the next issue or issues that – we will go astray from and that the left will turn into oh yeah this is this is fine this is this is what we should be now boy you know something you have asked this at a perfect time. I mean, the most important stuff that we got to get right is fighting global jihad, getting the size of government under control, big, big, big stuff like that. But it, it, to return to this morning's headlines, if we decide that we don't care when public figures or NFL teams or sports leagues or any other institution, when they don't adhere to standards that suggest we should so respect for our country, that that's just that's a societal sickness that I'm concerned about. You can't make somebody love the country. I'm not looking for them to be forced to sing the national anthem, but when the Niners and the the league, you know, God, if the Dallas Cowboys ever did this, I don't know what I would do. I mean, of course, we got problems in Cowboy land fighting fighting a quarterback that could do anything. Oh, for Dak Dak Prescott. But the thing is, when we get lackadaisical about this, and we go, ah, we don't care. So a huge public figure shows hatred for America. We don't care. We better care. And and we we grow nonchalant about that at our peril. Mark Davis, author, Upside Down, How the Left Turned Right into Wrong Truth and the Lies Good into Bad. You can pick it up on Amazon.com. Look up Mark Davis. Pick up up the book today. And uh, when you're in the Dallas area, you can always uh, tune in to Mark Davis' show on 660 AM, The Answer. Mark, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Chad, God bless you. And Lubbock, I appreciate all of y'all. Absolutely. I look forward to talking to you in the future. Thanks. That's Mark Davis, host of 660 AM, The Answer in Dallas, also author of Upside down, how the left turned right into wrong truth and the lies, good into bad.